porn ruined my life. Starting at the age of 13, you know, it was just kind of the cool thing to do. It was encouraged. It was, I've been told by the world around me, especially in like sex ed, oh, you're supposed to masturbate. You're supposed to, you know, tap into your manhood, explore your body. But the more I did it, the more of, the more disgusting I felt. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. You guys know that, you know, you're seeking pleasure. It's a short term fix. Maybe you're feeling stressed. Maybe you just feel an urge. Maybe you're just horny and that's okay, but you don't have to act on it. And this was a multi-year addiction. So starting from the age 13, fast forward all the way to probably at the age of 17, like it was nearly watching porn every single day. And it almost became like a habit and like an obligation. It's like, okay, you know what? It's this time of the night. It's part of my nightly routine to just and like I said, it's it's like a short term pleasure boost, like. But then right after you just feel disgusted with yourself and you know, this is true. You know, this is true. You feel disgusted with yourself. You feel that rush of shame and guilt. And you're like, I got to stop. Why did I do this in the first place? And another terrible benefit that it gave me, not benefit, another terrible con that it gave me was just an unhealthy view of woman. So, oh man, just reflecting on this, I'm, I'm, I'm just disgusted by my previous actions. So just viewing the opposite sex as sex objects or, you know, not even wanting to get to know the person. It's really just like, I'm just trying to, just trying to pipe. I'm just trying to use it for my pleasure because you're used to just seeing that in videos over and over and over again. So I would just never be able to form a healthy relationship with a woman. It would just be my perception on them was completely warped because that's all I saw on a daily basis and engaged in pleasure too. So naturally when I want to form a relationship with a woman, all I'm thinking about is sex and living by that lust just poisons your soul, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it leads from, from what I've heard from a lot of men that I've spoken to, it just leads to depression, more anxiety. And I could tell you for a fact, for me, it led to just a lowered self image. I started seeing myself as worthless and lower than I actually was because, you know, it opened up the door for the devil to attack me with lust. So let me explain right after I would get that instant rush of pleasure you know, I would feel that shame and guilt and tell myself like, you're a loser. Why would you do this? Like you're disgusting. So of course, living in that shame and guilt, it just reinforced that belief into my mind that that's what I was. So if you combine that with my dopamine receptors just being completely, completely fried, completely fried, I had no more motivation to number one, I, I viewed myself as a loser who was worthless and disgusting. So why, why would someone like that ever want to pursue something great? Like you don't see yourself as the man capable of pursuing these things because you put yourself in a negative loop of shame and guilt. And it's just a terrible place to be that obviously leads to depression and ruins lives, man. But also I just had no more motivation to pursue anything great. Like my dopamine receptors, instead of getting dopamine from healthy sources and like we're supposed to, if you go back thousands of years, like our ancestors got dopamine from hunting, from going on adventures, from finding a wife and reproducing. But now you could just sit in your bed, let one go and you get that same level of dopamine. So there's nothing left over. Your receptors are completely fried. So you're not going to pursue anything great. So pair those two things and just having my soul corrupted with lust and being in a bad place mentally and just viewing the opposite sex in such a negative light. I mean, it just doesn't lead to anything good. So I know a lot of you watching, like you clicked on this video because you related to the title. You related to the title of porn ruin my life. And maybe you feel like it ruins your life. And you know that it's something that you have to stop. It really is an addiction. A lot of men tell themselves, yeah, I could stop if I wanted to, or it's just a regular activity, but they can relate to my story that I just told you. 
like how it's negatively ruining their lives. Maybe you aren't aware of it, but hopefully I made you aware of it because this is serious. This is, and it's sad because our modern world, just wherever you go on Instagram, there's half naked models. Only fans is just so encouraged in our culture. Society tells women to dress promiscuously and just they convince them that it, it, it's like a sense of freedom. But no, it's really just contributing to the downfall of society. If you have a law, if you have a bunch of men who are just weakened for the reasons that I mentioned before, society will fall. And it's just we're seeing that at mass. And you really got to question why are they? Why, why is this such a prevalent thing? Why is porn so normalized? Why are we told that it's normal, right? There are deeper reasons for that. I'm not going to get into today, but it's just sad to see wherever you go. It just makes it so hard to quit. So the benefits of quitting, finally getting out of that loop for me was just like, I, I, got, I started getting my dopamine from positive activities, from becoming the greatest version of myself. So like hitting the gym, meditating, cold showers, like, we all seek dopamine and there's a certain limit that our brains can take, but where, what are you going to choose to get it from? Are you going to choose to maximize it from just a short-term pleasure that reinforces that shame and guilt that makes you feel disgusting, like a loser, or are you going to get it from improving your life? So a very popular thing that I see in the space and like business or self-improvement is like monk mode, but really it's as simple as cutting out any unhealthy dopamine sources that are going to leave none left over for things that will actually improve your life, right? So it's not just porn. Obviously, this, this is about porn, but as soon as you cut out video games, social media, porn, and just everything unhealthy, like alcohol, anything that boosts your dopamine, you're going to have more left over to actually put into things that will improve your life. And... Not only that, like, I just stopped seeing women as sexual objects. Like, that's just the worst view to have. Like, women around you are children of God. They're sacred beings, so is we. We're all made in the image of God. So why would you lower them to just an object for your pleasure, right? And porn does that. Porn does that because you just watch it every single night, and it gives you that image of woman. But we're all made in the image of God, so... It won't, not only will you just end up hurting the person, not only will you just end up regretting it, but you just won't be able to find a wife. You're not going to find a long-term relationship if you only see women as sexual objects, right? And lastly, just having your self-image boosted. It's just so powerful because man cannot rise above how he sees himself. I think of, therefore I am. So Think about what that does to your identity. You just constantly watching porn, telling yourself you're disgusted with yourself, you're a loser. How does that reflect on how you see yourself in a day-to-day -day basis? And is that stopping you from pursuing anything great, from pursuing the life that you want? And I get it, guys, but it really is this deep. Take my story as a testimony related to your experience, and you'll start to uncover the truth of how negatively porn is ruining your life, just like how it ruined my life. So some steps you can take today is just cut it out. Cut it out. I know NoFap is a trend in the, in the, the self-improvement space, but personally, it's not the end-all be-all. It's just something, don't tell yourself I'm on a NoFap streak and start counting the days. Just identify yourself as someone who doesn't watch porn. You don't want to be a loser. You don't want to have unhealthy relationships. You don't want to constantly feel disgusted with yourself. You don't want to. So tell yourself, I don't watch porn and just cut it out. You're now aware of how it's negatively affecting your life. So just consciously, you know, there's better ways to get out the urges. Go to the gym, meditate, take a cold shower. It's going to be hard at first. And when I was first quitting porn, like it was, it was tough. Of course, just like quitting any addiction, it's tough, but stop telling yourself that it's something that you need and actively resist the urges at this point it's not even something that i'm actively trying to quit or something i even think about it's just not something i do and you could be like that too honestly it just starts with making that conscious decision and just cutting it out it's really that simple 
it's simple but not easy, but I believe you could do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're able to relate to it. It's one of the biggest problems that I see with men and you're not alone. So I wish you luck on this journey. If you need any help with it, I actually left my socials down below. You could talk to me whenever. I'm more than happy to learn more about what you're facing, to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, and maybe even hop on a call just to speak face-to-face. -face. So I really appreciate you getting through this video. Take care.